Hey, what's up guys, Adi here. Uh, welcome to a Web Design Tuts Plus quick tip. And today we're not gonna code or design anything. Uh, instead, I'll walk you through a small project of mine. It's uh, something that I call a development bar. Um, it's, it's just a little script that I made for myself and it adds uh, this top bar with two buttons on top of whatever it is I'm working on and it displays a baseline grid and um, a vertical grid, a 960 grid. So, you know, I'm making this available for anyone who wants to use it. So uh, I'll just give you a quick tour of uh, all the files that are behind this and how to use it. And hopefully, um, you know, you can uh, take it even further and develop it or just use it for your own projects. It's really up to you. So uh, the reason I made this was that recently I started working, um, I started basing my designs on, on, a, on an 18 pixel baseline grid. Uh, so when writing the CSS, it was pretty important uh, you know, for me to to have a grid on top of of my page to see if everything was aligning properly so I created this um, let me show you how to initialize it this is the first thing you gotta do um, this is a link to a style sheet and uh, this loads the latest jQuery and this loads the scripts.js, which actually does all the all the thing, all, all the magic, so to speak. Um, so I have a folder, it's called development assets, which hold which holds all of um, all of the assets that are required for it to work. I have a baseline grid or a baseline image. It's one by 18 and it's responsible for overlaying this grid. And then I have the 960 grid image, which does the same thing. I have a fonts folder, which holds the web symbols folder. And I'm only using this uh, for the icons in the links. All right, uh, next is the CSS and finally the scripts.js folder. All right, uh, I just wanna talk about the CSS briefly, just uh, an important note here. Um, the whole, uh, the height and the margins and the paddings of the bar is directly related to the font size of your website. Um, in my project here, for instance, I'm using a font size of 12 pixels and the line height of 18, which is 1.5 M's. So 1.5, the size of the, uh, of the font size. And the height of the grid is expressed in M's. It's a multiple of that line height. And I'm doing a multiple because I wanna be able to keep the grid uh, in place. So no matter how high the, the the development bar would be, if it's a multiple of 18 pixels, which is my line height, then the grid will stay in sync. All right, so uh, make sure, if you wanna use this for your own projects, make sure uh, you keep that in mind. All right, so uh, let's open up scripts.js. I'm not gonna go over the the rest of the CSS is just some basic styling. Uh, so the scripts.js. Uh, basically, I'm creating three variables here as objects. I'm giving them a class and some content. So for instance, the grid is a div with a class of development baseline grid. The development bar is a list with a class of development bar and uh, two list items, one for uh, each of those two buttons. 
and the 960 grid is also a div with with this class so after I create this these I select the body and I prepend all of these so prepend is kind of the opposite of append append inserts something or adds something at the end of an element prepend inserts it in the beginning of the element so I wanted the the bar and the grid and the grids uh, to be placed at the beginning of my page All right so that's why I chose prepend all right next uh, when we click one of those links we do two things one we calculate the height the document height and apply it to our grid container and I chose to do this because uh, by setting a fixed height from CSS won't work very well if the document is resized so I chose to calculate the total document height that's what I'm doing here our height I'm uh, calculating this and then I'm applying it to the to the class of development baseline grid and then I just uh, do toggle on on those elements right so if you don't know toggle uh, shows something if it's hidden and hides it if it's visible that's basically what it does and I'm doing the same thing for the skeleton grid for uh, for the vertical grid calculate the height apply it uh, to the element with the class of development skeleton 960 grid and then I just toggle it all right uh, and that's all there is to it really uh, I I hope uh, you know someone will uh, will find this uh, this useful for me it is so if you want to use it and uh, you know modify it in any way go ahead and do that but for now um, thanks for watching and uh, leave your comments let me know what you think till next time this is Adi signing out